Thank you. This is fascinating. How long have you been working on this? About a year and a half. About okay. a year and a half. Yeah, we imagine this is kind of a motorcycle of the sky. Right. I like that. Uh, well, you know, we talked a lot about flying cars, so <laughs> you're, you're on to something. This is one of the blades, so there would be four of those. What would that, operate that? That's correct. We'll have a gas engine and okay. a hybrid electric drive that'll give us backup for, for safety. And, um, and it'll, you know, this will take off straight up. We're looking to be able to cruise 60 to 80 miles an 60 hour. 60 to 80 miles an hour. Yes, sir. Imagine that. Well, Bob, come on up and uh, we'll show that this is the prototype, I guess. This is a, yeah, a full-scale mock-up that we'll use to pull molds off of for the actual carbon fiber fly-in parts. And we're going to have this at the Falcon Field open house in the Future of Flight Pavilion in Mesa tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be fun to see that out there. I think people are going to want to see this up close. So yeah. you've got one person. It's just for one person, correct? Yeah. And it's kind of graceless to do it on the truck, but I can climb up there and, well, let's see and, you do and model it. Yeah. this thing. I love the color of it and everything. And uh, did you did you have this made or did you make we, it? We made it. I have a company in Flagstaff where we make components for aircraft. So we've been building this in the back corner for about a year now. Now, will there be a place for your feet or are they They're just going to hang yeah. off? Yeah, they'll be, uh, be anti-torque. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how high do you see this going? Uh, we'll have to build like with a service ceiling at 10,000 feet or so. So, okay. you know, from, I don't, it'll be like flying a helicopter. You'll yeah. want to stay low where you can see what's going on. Now, you, I would assume you're going to have to communicate with ATC just like a regular airplane. We're going to become experts in, in helmet mounted microphones and radios. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so uh, someday, what, when do you like to see this uh, made and on the market? We're, we're aiming for selling kits to the experimental aircraft community in 2020. Really? Yes. At a cost of what? Oh, probably fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Fifty, sixty thousand uh, dollars. So you have not seen one go up in the air yet, correct? That's correct. We're working toward first hovers and first flights this summer. All right. You're going to be the first one to do that? Possibly. I know, I know a couple of real test pilots who might be better qualified, but yeah. I'm really looking forward to flying it, too. Yeah, you're nervous about that part of it? I suppose, but you know, we'll do just like the big guys and we'll start off with this thing tied down to the ground and right. we'll get all the systems working and then we'll, we'll go a step at a time. Oh my gosh, that's good. How, how, so you got these gas engines operating all four rotors. How long could it fly? We're aiming for an hour to an hour and a half. An hour to an hour and, and a half. And, and so really, I mean, we want to build something that you can really fly some distance and, and have fun with. Oh my gosh, Jim, I think it's fantastic. You're going to be out at Falcon Field uh, tomorrow <laughs> for their air show out there. And that's it's called correct. the Fan Flyer, is that the official that's, name? That's correct, and we have a crowdfunding campaign going on, and that kicks off today. Okay. And people want to come check us out, yeah, come to Falcon Field. So, how's the crowdfunding going to work? Are you going to be part owner if you donate to that, or what? This, this initial one, we're selling t-shirts and belt buckles and, okay. and a place in line for pre-orders, and uh, we, we're working toward doing a, uh, an equity crowdfund later this year, also. All right, so you assume that you'll have to have some kind of a license. To, to fly this. That's correct. Yeah, I expect just like the early ultralights, the FAA will expect you to have uh, be signed off to solo. So that's 10, 15 hours of flight instruction. Mm -hmm. uh, and a pilot's license is a good thing, really. You need to right. know about the airspace and you yeah, need to that, know what's that, going on out uh, there. That's a lot of information to take in. But what do you think out there? Someday you <laughs> might be sitting in that seat flying this thing to work. Yeah. That would be so cool. I ask people, have you ever wanted to fly? I mean, like the, you know, the way we dreamed of flying when we were kids. This is going to come pretty close. All right. All right, I'll be the first to fly it down here to 3TV. Awesome. All right. Thank you so Maybe much. Maybe I got borrow it sometime. That sounds really cool. <laughs> Jim, thank you so much. Best of luck out at Falcon Field tomorrow. That All right. starts at what, 9 in the morning? 9 in nine? the morning till okay. 3 in the afternoon. All right. We wish you the best of luck. We want to stay uh, on this and watch you as you develop this thing. Thank you so much. So next segment, you're going to be flying it down to show us. <laughs> That's the way to do All it. All right. Thanks, Absolutely. Jim.